Good morning. This is Monday the 14th, and today's devotion is the key for the Christian witness. This is Matthew 28. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. The basis of the Christian's work is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the unsaved. We tend to view our Lord as someone who assists us in our projects. Jesus Christ puts himself as the absolute sovereign over us, his disciples. Jesus doesn't say that other people's salvation depend on us, that if we don't preach the gospel, the unsaved will be lost. He simply tells us to go and make disciples of all nations. That is, go on the revelation of my sovereignty, him, Teach and preach out of a living experience that you have had in me. Come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened. Before I can go, I must learn how to come to him. If I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I must know him for myself first, our own personal relationship first. I must know how to get myself alone with him. I must take time to worship the being, capital B, whose name I carry, Jesus Christ. I am weary and burdened, as so many of his kids are. So Jesus says, come unto me. And we can banish these marvelous words to the footnotes where they are the main text. They are the words of the universal sovereign of the world, the words of Jesus Christ to us, his disciples, come unto me. Therefore, go. Go simply means live. The description of how to go is found in Acts 1.8. Go and be my witnesses. To live bearing witnesses to Jesus is to fulfill our mission as his disciple. Tell somebody else about who he is. He will organize your goings for himself. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. People always ask me, what do I say, Pastor? He's telling us right there in John 15, if you remain in me, my words will remain in you. This is a description of how to keep going in our personal lives. Where God places us is a matter of indifference because God engineers all of our goings while we remain steadfast in him. That is a way to keep going until we're gone. The challenge I have for us today is how are we doing in this process of remaining in Jesus and his words remaining in us? How are we doing with that? Let's pray. Father, I thank you that uh, Jesus watches over us, his disciples. He trains us, he teaches us. And now, Father, I pray that we would remain in him and allow his words to remain in us so that at any moment, if the opportunity presents itself, we can tell somebody else about the joy of Jesus Christ and his salvation. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and go tell somebody.